right? Yeah, because it's, mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, so hello, yeah. we're live now. So hello, everyone. So we have another a very exciting webinar today. And from this webinar, I'm sure you will learn lots of practical tips and tricks of uh, teaching English, right? In all four skills, uh, but um, especially um, in uh, speaking and um, listening, listening, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, so we have Nazima uh, with us, Jabbarova. She's the senior teacher at the National University of um, Uzbekistan. And she has been the, the most, I think, active, one of the most active participants of all our um, endeavors from right from the beginning. So thank you, Nazima, for... Mm -hmm. Thank accepting you. the invitation you to present. Us. Thank you. Mm. Yeah, yeah. You always motivated us. That's why I also want to just yeah, share with my just, Great. Um, tools. Okay. Uh, yes. Uh, it would be in English or it would be better if I start in English and continue in Uzbek or only English or mm, uh, not that I couldn't hear you. Yes, I don't mind. Um, I don't know. Um, what do you think? Do you want in English or in Uzbek? Could you play, please English, write yes, in yeah. uh, English? Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, welcome the uh, colleagues, the uh, um, mentor hub uh, just members. I'm just really happy to be with you today and share my toolkit, uh, just web pages. If you could see, this is my just Padlet page. Um, I also started this Padlet page when Nadirapa shared it with writing tools. Then I decided to create my own one and to the every subject, every uh, skill, I just collected some web pages and today I will just, uh, how to say, share these all tools, all these web pages. Mm, all of them very useful. All of them just, how to say, just uh, inspire teachers to teach. And uh, especially in pandemic period, yeah? We don't know how to teach Zoom. Uh, suddenly they say it in the March of 16, we need to teach we need to teach uh, our subjects on the Zoom. And we started to teach. And I tried to study different online courses. And from these online courses, I collected, gathered all these web pages and writing tools. Uh, if you want, uh, just you can give questions and I'll try to answer at the end. Okay, let's start it. First of all, uh, I just think about the telling, the listening and speaking tools. Then I decided maybe I'll just gather all all four skills, but most of the writing tools I just uh, collected uh, Nodereza Mohamedov's uh, just Padlet. That's why I will share listening, speaking, and just one or two reading and vocabulary tools. But most of them listening tools. Let's start it. The first uh, web page, it's called Study Stack. Yeah, it's very interesting web page where you can create your own uh, just cards. And at the same time, you can uh, choose any cards from the just uh, topic. There is a just ready card. Uh, let's I'll show the first page of the study stack. There is a page and on this page, you can just uh, see and write down your interesting topic and you can see and choose some flashcards, ready flashcards. At the same time with these flashcards, you may create your own one. I also created some of the, these flashcards. I will share them later. Uh, then you will just see them. Uh, for example, you can choose some topic languages. Yeah? And there is a, you will choose the English verbs or English vocabulary. And there is ready flashcards are here. And uh, with the help of these flashcards, you can conduct your Zoom classes. For example, basic English verb cards, yeah. Uh, uh, there are 14 cards. You may just 
uh, show it and you may ask the students, do they know these cards or they don't know these cards and you may just do it. At the same time with these flashcards, you can change it. You can shuffle, you can just uh, create as a matching flashcards, for example, AN, and you will just find the articles. Yeah. And it will open just, for example, uh, prepositions and like this. This is one of them. The, thing, uh, the next one is snowman game, crossword, typing, quizzes, tasks. It's a ready gamers. Just you need to add your own flashcards, uh, own cards. If you are just um, lazy to just creating the flashcards, there are ready flashcards already created by teachers, by students. You may just open and use it. It's very interesting web page. The name of the web page is studies.com. Yeah, there are different topics, different games, nearly 15 type of the games. You can just do it. You can use it in your Zoom cluster. This is the first one. Uh, there is a uh, type of the game is only thing you need to add vocabulary and with this vocabulary you can just create these cards. It's a name of the game as table index cards, uh, then uh, snowman postcard, you can just play it and you can just uh, do it with your students. This is the first one. The next one is Quizlet card. I don't know, maybe you know it already, maybe you use it already, but I love it because it's just ready cards again, flashcard, and you can create it. You may join, you may enter to Quizlet web page. You need to log in with your Google account. Excuse me. Uh, then you may join and you may create your set, set of cards. There is a, you will write down, for example, just uh, a title, family, and uh, some description, new vocabulary, vocabulary, and you will start the creating flashcards. You will write down the, any just term according to this topic, for example, mother, father, and there is a ready pictures and ready translation pages. Just you need to choose the language. For example, Uzbek, English, Russian, there is Uzbek language also, you may just find it. You will find the definition or uh, just some word. It's ready definition, ready word. Even you can find the, some picture to the mother, yeah? And one flashcard is ready. Next one is, for example, father and so on. You can create set of cards and or if you want, you can find your just favorite from favorite book set of cards. I created one of the just for my family and my house. You may search or create. While you're creating, you need to add nearly five or 20. It depends on you how many words you would like to create flashcards. Then at the same time, you can search some books, for example, Roundup book, yeah, Roundup first uh, just version or first and there are units and it's a ready unit and you can use it they, uh, it looks like that for example roundup three units uh, there is a definition in russian or in english you may find here and you at the same time you can play with it for example they can learn they can give the russian form or uzbek form and they will find it as a test or you can give them as a just spelling dictation, or you can give them as a just quiz, as a game. They can quickly type it, yeah? Uh, go to the bathroom and they will type it. And uh, it's a ready, uh, just quiz with cards. You can create the, some folders. You can create some classes for your classes, uh, or only sets you can create. or if you want, uh, there is a ready flashcards also. It's very, uh, just how to say, interesting. And uh, just uh, your students will just uh, learn words quickly. You can share to your Google Classroom. You can share to your uh, just other uh, Facebook web pages. Uh, only you will write, uh, just 
copy the URL address and you will send this. This is uh, the next flashcards about uh, vocabulary. The next web page, it's- Hold um, on. Um, yeah, sorry, Nazima. Maybe it would be easy if we kind of discuss one by one so that people do not get overwhelmed. Can we like accept yes, some yes, questions, right? Yeah, so yeah, that yeah. it's- uh -huh. I just wanted to ask, so um, you showed that study com, uh, study stacks, right? Yes. And uh, uh -huh. the Quizlet, what differences you see in them? Uh, in it's nearly the same, but there is a difference. Uh, that is in Quizlet card, there's no game is like a, uh, snowman or matching or crosswords like this game. There is no game and there is no like this topic. In Quizlet, you may find, you may search the name of the book and the name of the topic, but in study stack, it's also just uh, like this. Uh, magical topic, languages, history. Mm -hmm. It's a little mm -hmm. different from Quizlet. Okay, uh, so the bank. It, it's the more bank joyful, of... mm -hmm. yeah. It's more joyful, it's a playful just web page. Uh, mm -hmm. While you are creating, you can just, uh, they were, both of them give you a chance to play the game. But mm -hmm. Quizlet is more serious, I think. So the spec is a more secondary just education system, uh, just for, it's useful for secondary education system. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, this is the main difference, but both of them uh, has ready cards. Both of them have their open just gamers and opportunities. Uh, you can use both of them. Yeah. yeah. Uh, that's all. Or if, if they have any questions, I can uh, answer now. Yes. Do you have any questions mm -hmm. um, so far regarding study stack and, and or Quizlet? By the way, Quizlet Hakkada, mm -hmm, Quizlet Hakkada, uh, YouTube channel, the Uzbek Teledeyam course at the Birganidam, again, Quizlet. That was the manam to Dan Organgia, man, and more the classes than that. They am Yokan Liguchun, Shayat Wotanidam. Yeah, on that score, you know, video, you know, color. Uh huh. You know, video, color, Uzbek, all that. Boy, you know, can do it. Just can do it. Just, um, you know, if um, yeah, so you may have seen it. Uzbek, all that. For sure, that mumkin. Channel, um, the bar. Um, uh huh. Quizlet, you know, bit the mass bar. Um, yes. Oh, in Laren, I'm cursing. Oh, in Laren, I'm cursing. Ah, da da da. Okay. Uh, for example, let's just round up this one. Okay. And there is a mm -hmm. game, matching game, gravity game. Yeah, you can start game, and you can find the just definition. For example, so uh, uh, you will just join them, and they can easily find each other, and <laughs> you can play it again mm -hmm. and again. You can matching, just, yeah, mm -hmm. matching game. And there is another game, gravity. Mm -hmm. It's also just playful. It's also just helpful for your students. They like to play it. Mm, you will choose uh, just uh, difficulty and you can just see and there is a type of this word, for example. And uh, it, it, it's also just helpful to just students. When they have free time, uh, they can just enter and play and at the same time learn vocabulary. Yeah. Yeah. There is a yeah, test, they can there use this spelling. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. There is a spelling also some game they can write, yeah. Or mm -hmm. there is a just they can listen these words if they have some just for example. Yeah. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Yeah. You can listen at the same time with them. But you can use on Zoom classes during the class. Yeah. Uh, you will prepare a topic. Uh, and you will use it. Study stack also the same, but it's more, how to say, just uh, funny or joyful than Quizlet, I think. I, I can show some of them, for example. Mm -hmm. Again, you can create your own just cards here. Mm. It looks like that. Uh, if they know and the sun, it's the article, they can say, I know, or a specific person, it's the noun. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, they will choose it. The same cards that are uh, nearly 10 or 15 gamers, 
they can play at the same time. For example, study table, yeah? And they will just choose it and they will just choose and uh, you will find it. it and they will play it. Flashcards or matching also the same. They will match it, specific person. It's a place thing or proper noun, yeah? It will open just like this. They can play and it's easy for teachers and for students. Yeah, that, that you need to give the URL address. Yes. Do you have any question about Quizlet study set? Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's one it. question. Move... Yeah, there's one mm -hmm. question saying, can a teacher see the results of the students? Yes, why not? But uh, if you ask them to do the screenshot, you can see it, but uh, you, uh, the uh, main thing, they will play themselves or together you can show and play together. Mm -hmm. The results only you can see by screenshot. There is no mm -hmm. just uh, tool which stands to you. Just or you can just put. Uh, you can share on Google Classroom, and they can uh, write down this, their score if there is a quiz or test. But there is no tool like sending your their score to yeah. you as a teacher. You cannot. Yeah, it. you cannot, it's good for uh, kind of independent story. learning, right? It's good for independent learning practicing. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. also you mm -hmm. can do it in yeah. class, right? You can do it in class. You just share your screen and then mm -hmm. uh, you do it together. Um, mm -hmm. There is a there is an option. Mm -hmm. in, I, I'm not sure in study stack, but in Quizlet, there is an option. You can assign it as a homework. Um, it was free for mm -hmm. some time, but I guess now it's um, paid. Um, so yeah, yeah. You, you have to kind of, it's a package, it's yeah. a different package. Mm -hmm. So then you can assign it to your class and then you will be able to see their progress. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, you yeah, see you classes, can so you can kind of a create folder, a class. Yeah, classes, yeah. You can create a mm -hmm. class and, and assign to a class. Yeah. yeah. Um, yeah you, you can share on can you Google explain? Classroom. You oh, see, try yeah. it free mm -hmm. for 30 days. You can try it for 30 days for free and you can mm -hmm. do that. Um, mm -hmm. But uh, usually then it, mm -hmm. it, uh, it should, it's paid version. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But there are so many topics and you can find any topic, uh, not only English language topics, biology, physics, chemistry, any topics you can find, vocabulary. Yeah. It's, uh, I, I love it. I try to use and I try to give to learn some new vocabulary autonomously. They will try to play and learn at the same time. Can I move to the next one? Yes, please. Mm. The next one also web page. It's called Essential English Review Page. And all essential vocabulary books are collected here, gathered here. And you can use it in your Zoom classes. And at the same time, you can use it in your... As a just self-study, you can give it. There is a all topics that are given as a vocabulary in used book, and you can uh, answer and listen uh, together with your students. And you can just give as a homework. There are some tasks. There are pictures, and there is a vocabulary things, and there is a just uh, exercises, and they can check their exercises also at the end. Yeah. And it's also how to, very helpful uh, web page for students who would like to increase their vocabulary. And there is uh, just all just levels of the vocabulary in use and all just levels of the uh, um, listening uh, books, tactics for listening, you may find here. <clears throat> Can I move to the next one? <clears throat> The next web page, the next one is uh, news in levels. Uh, I try to start my classes, speaking classes, uh, asking them news, what's happening around the world, what's happening in Uzbekistan or in your university or in your classes at home, yeah? They will try to tell some news. And at the same time, I try to share with news in lab, from news in levels web page, uh, some news. There are three levels where we can just compare these three level vocabulary. We can retell it and uh, the 
the content of this web page every day, every hour changes, and it's very <clears throat> interesting news you can find and you can use in your classes. At the same time, there are some books, and books also has the three levels. Uh, there is uh, just books, uh, for example, Robinson Crusoe. Uh, it's also in different levels, it changes. You may listen, and at the same time, you may just see on the screen, yeah? They can uh, check their vocabulary in three minutes. Yeah, they can uh, move to the just another level, the same book, another level, yeah? a different level. Just it makes more difficult uh, in the level three. And this is also in this page, not only just new scene level, uh, there is a just grammar and books also you may find here. So fiction, okay. right? So there's yes, some fiction. fiction. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. I've never, I mm. never knew that. Mm. I've never mm -hmm. known that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Where did there you is, take them? Uh, okay. American English website. Uh, yeah. online, it's uh, online. Uh, okay, you go to book two, right? Uh, you, yes, you go you to, can go okay, to book. book one or book two. Okay. Yeah, mm -hmm. there is a book and you may just uh, read in different levels, listen in different levels, this book. Mm -hmm. Then the next one is, okay, just one minute. Uh, there, are, there are many videos and there is, a, again, news in three different levels. They can listen, they can discuss these levels, and at the same time, you can ask them to prepare some news, yeah, so on. Uh, Nodrapa, I couldn't remember, have you ever talked about Yuglish or not? Yuglish. Um, yes, I did it's when we were um, talking about... What was it? <clears throat> I don't remember. Listening, uh, pronunciation, uh -huh. okay, pronunciation. Not... Yes. Yeah, uh -huh. but you can uh -huh. mention that as well. Yes, of course. Yeah. Uh -huh. Okay. Uh, just uh, it's closed. It's okay. Maybe. <laughs> okay. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. The next one is ESL Gamescom. Uh, it's very helpful for speaking classes, speaking lessons. Uh, there are a lot of warmer icebreaker tasks and there are a lot of vocabulary speaking activities you can, con uh, you can hold, you can conduct in your, while conducting classes, you can use it. For example, there are different categories. You may choose any category with your students, for example, movies, and you can click it and they will give the question, ready question. You can check the student's attendance here. Yeah, I usually check it. Okay, let's choose the topic. Then I'll give this question. Okay, my Dina, what films have you seen the most times? Or next question. Okay, Anora, do you like old black and white movies? Yeah, I'll try to check their listening. At the same time, I'll try to ask some questions and check their voice also. Usually in speaking classes, we need to interact with, that, with each other. Unfortunately, our Zoom classes are short. And that's why quickly we try to do this kind of activity. The most interesting thing, you can choose the category. There are different, different just things in this category. Uh, traveling, tenses, and questions also very interesting. And different questions, nearly 30, 40 questions in each category. Uh, next one, the same just page, ESL Gamers. There are you know, just ready cards, yeah? You can deal the cards. You can ask them to create some story. You can just uh, ask them, just play the game, fortunately, unfortunately, for example. Unfortunately, I leave for the interview. Then fortunately, my father came just and just stay, uh, lead me to the interview or like this. They will continue. You can change the cards quickly and they can just, uh, uh, give answers quickly to these cards. Yeah, it's also from the ESL Games uh, page. Mm -hmm. There are many, many photos. You can just quickly change it, and you can just uh, show this picture and make story uh, and continue like you chain each other's stories. Uh, the next one is. Um, 
using English com, this is useful for teachers. When I have a question about teaching, for example, how to teach blind students or how to teach mixed level students, I'll try to search from this web page. There are tons of the just articles about teaching. There is a just uh, ready quizzes, lesson plans, tests, and um, I think it's a reliable source for teachers and at the same time for students also. Articles are very interesting on this page. The next one is will chair, uh, will decide, will decide come. Uh, this is uh, like a tool for, again, speaking, gain for speaking. Um, you may ask your student create some questions or you can create yourself these questions. Uh -huh. I'll show it how to create it. There is a just pay, uh, there is a space and you may write down your questions, tell about your ambitions, tell something about online education system or um, you may just write down any questions and you can create it and your wheelchair will be ready and you can click it and you can discuss this topic with your students. Okay, it looks like that. It looks like Polish that it's interesting. Uh, watch a great film, yeah. When did you last time watch a great film? You can ask them. And again, you can ask them questions or topics you will give and they can just answer like that, uh, play a game. When did you play the game last time or like this? There is a ready, we'll decide from just topics about color, about date, about dinner, about food. You can choose and at the same time, you can create your own just wheel also. Uh, just you need to write the just questions and tell something about your close friend, tell something about your future friend and uh, you can do it. Yeah. There are six questions. Now I, I created one and I'll ask, okay, Firuza, tell something about your friend or tell something about your future job. Like that, I'll ask these questions again and again. It just uh, gives you question and uh, you will decide to ask someone, tell about ambitions, dreams except after graduating university. Uh, this is good. Uh, this is good tool for uh, just doing the or conducting the warm up. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, the next one is no. When you play game or when you ask your students to do some kind of activity, and you can just uh, get the, from this gift form website some timers, and you can put on your screen, and it gives you chance to just. To check the time and at the same time they can speak you usually I I'll give them some topics and you have two minutes and start then I'll put the timer and they try to just uh, speak during this time and they will just finish I'll say okay time is up or it's high time and they can stop it it's also ready gift uh, the next one is for playing the different gamers or board gamers there is a roll die it's um, this roll die, uh, just you can roll it and the numbers, okay, number four, and you can move it. This is very helpful for board gamers. I'll show the board gamers later. There is a flip coin, tail or hat, tail or hat, then you will stop, yeah, like this. Uh, the next one is uh, for can, reading. Can I, yeah, hold on, hold on. <laughs> ah, ah, okay, hold on okay. your horses. You have the to talking too fast. I think people are ah, kind of overwhelmed. Okay, okay. I, I couldn't find those ah. links, I think. Um, are they there? The ones that yes. you showed, like the, about the uh, wheel and yes. the die and etc. Uh -huh. Okay, I will share my Padlet. On this okay. Padlet, there is a just all of them I just added here. There is a, could you see, bomb timer or mm -hmm. GIF countdown, okay. uh, yes. roll die. You can just click and find it. Okay, really. yeah, make sure. And yeah, you there should. is also just, yeah, uh -huh. random picker. Yeah, you, you, we usually yeah. use it or uh, all of them. I just okay. gathered on this Padlet. 
Uh, I open it them. I prepare it. <laughs> That's why I just yeah. Uh, usually no, on great. board games. It's just, I, I, mm -hmm. it's just so that people mm -hmm. don't feel kind of oh well, it's just you're going too fast. And then one trick. I I was I thought that I will do it uh, later, but I think we have to do it. Can you uh, go to a Google? Um, Google new new tab. I'll teach you something, and I think it will be useful for everyone. Um, mm -hmm. Google, yeah, just a new. You see, there are lots of advertisement popping up, and it is not appropriate, right? It's not appropriate during webinars. Or it's not appropriate in the lessons, right? When you're sharing your screen, mm -hmm. so you have to enable ad blocker. There is ad mm -hmm. blocker yeah, in the Google. Now it's say ad blocker in the Google. Google, uh -huh. yeah, mm -hmm. just say ad blocker, ad, no, like advertisement, ad blocker, it's just two words, ad 1D. Okay, anyway, yeah, you can Google, it will come. There is extension, are you using uh, Google Chrome? Yes, okay, mm -hmm. yes, you can click on that. Um, yes, Ustanevic, so that would be the, you see on the right, the, yes, mm -hmm. yes. Okay. And ah, yeah. Should be, okay. Mm -hmm. And now ah, when you go, go to, yes. Okay. When you go to some page, uh -huh. um, then it will block the unnecessary advertisement. Ah. Wow. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Yeah, so. I always just, I, I hate them sometimes. Exactly. Sometimes. And they not only hate, mm -hmm. they might be inappropriate. Mm -hmm. And when you're sharing with your students, yes. right? So, and during uh -huh. webinars, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. I was thinking like, oh mm -hmm. my God. <laughs> so then I decided that because I think it would be useful for everyone. So um, therefore, yeah. Yeah, make sure that you yeah. do yeah. that. Uh -huh. But you have to keep in mind when you do they, they that. They will not open their advertisement. Yeah? No, you will, they will, mm -hmm. the site will block these advertisements. Um, but some websites mm -hmm. will require you, they will say, disable your ad blocker otherwise you will not be able to see this and that so mm -hmm. in some for some websites you may decide disable that but for as a general rule um leave it there so that you don't um kind of it's mm -hmm. not um yeah when you're sharing it with your students right so there is nothing mm -hmm. inappropriate comes up right so mm -hmm. yeah thank you <laughs> The sorry for intruding one. sorry for kind of my intrusion. no 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 it's very <laughs> helpful yeah. no 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 okay, <clears throat> okay. uh the next one is <clears throat> project gutenberg uh there are just nearly sixty thousand uh ebooks and you can easily download them without just paying without just uh sending some messages and you can search them, you can find uh, in original form of these books. The first ebook also created by Gutenberg, I think I read about it. And uh, you can search and browse in their bookshelf and you can search any book, uh, you can see it. And uh, it's very helpful for just students to read some books. There is a just all books in original form and uh, they can easily download in listen them and do some activities if they have these activities. The name of the website is Project Gutenberg. It was taken from American English, uh, just online, uh, just uh, mock uh, site, mock uh, just loan LMA site. Um, the next one is about uh, just for school teachers, I think it would be very useful for learning chocolate with the age. Uh, I try to use these uh, just uh, younger students, younger pupils. I will choose any topic and, uh, for example, daily routine. And I can show it and I can work with them. They can listen, they can play games, they can just uh, do a lot of things on this page. They can match, they can field, you can do dictation. For example, this is a daily routine page. And you, Wake up. They can listen. Get up. Yeah, you may, you may ask them in Uzbek, they can find and just work together. They can, you can give chance to, to click it on the board and uh, they will tell and there is a matching and other forms of the just games also, for example, or you can just 
where is it? The address, yeah? Like this, you can just play it together. There are a thousand topics, a uh, lot of topics for school children. If you have online blackboards, you can just open and work together with your students, with your pupils. The name of the website, Learning Chocolate. It's uh, just a vocabulary website. The next one is um, vocabulary hub. It's uh, ready videos about some uh, difficult vocabulary that are just, you can select vocabulary topic or grade, for example, grade 10, 11, or just first classes. Then there is a just, uh, after choosing the grade, you can search some vocabulary and for example, abdicate. Yeah. Then you may uh, show them some just video about abdicate it. Abdicate means to give up power or control. The king abdicated his throne so he could marry the woman he actually loved. Uh, uh, some of them with cartoons, some of them with uh, different pictures and um, there is a just very good vocabulary for the grades for the different levels. Uh, the next one is the hippo, what hippo page. Uh, it's more vocabulary page. You may just um, log in and write down the just some words and get, uh, just find the translation, definition, the rhymes, and synonyms, and a lot of things about this word it's also just useful page for just bizarros or definitions antonyms and verbs at the same time and it's the interesting that page just you need to write some words and you can just find this word definition everything about this word form is pronunciation and so on Again, about speaking activity, speaking the page, lexipedia.com. And usually I try to just give this page to students. And uh, after watching this class, they will try to create some moderator. Yeah, there is a definition and there is a synonym words and adjective forms and synonyms. Yeah, it, 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 it's a cluster. Uh, the next one is, okay, your dictionary. Uh, it looks like uh, word people uh, and lexipedia. There is uh, again the same definition, synonym and sentence. It's, uh, it helps to just find some kind of quotes or some kind of just proverbs about this just word. Just you will, you need to write the word and they will help to find the synonym sentence, how this word comes uh, inside the sentence in the middle at the end or what kind of with this word you may find easily. It looks like corporate quotes. It's uh, just uh, for students, not for teachers. For students, uh, it's uh, useful. Okay, the role that I already talked, uh, just, I would like to show another just thing. Mm, there is a just, uh, on my public, you may find the pictures. Uh, there is nearly just 100 pictures. Uh, it was taken from slideshare.com. And all these pictures you can use on your speaking classes. Interesting pictures I can open and I can ask, what do you think about this picture? Okay, let's try uh, start this, just uh, some sentence about this picture. And nearly 100 uh, pictures, all of them very, just have to say, um, colorful and your students easily can make some sentence. Okay, about the SL games I talked about, Kogel also like this. Uh, just one minute. I would like to show this page. Uh, Voice of American page. Uh, it's a, uh, sorry, it's a just not page. This one. There is already just uh, videos. There is already just um, helpful. Mm -hmm. Sorry. Mm -hmm. 
American English courses. Okay. This is this one, I think, if I'm not mistaken. Okay. I love this page also. It's American English web page. On this page, you may find the materials for reading, listening, skilling to four skills. It's very helpful resource for teachers, for English teachers. Yesterday, if I'm not mistaken, in Urbeck, where some teachers mentioned about forum. Uh, just all just uh, you, uh, forums you may find on this web page. There is a, just you may find some popular activities. You may find the forum, just uh, past issues, and you may find a lot of things, a lot of resources. There is a teachers corner, and on the teachers corner you may find interesting topics, resources for English teachers and uh, for students also. Mm. Just you need to log in. There is a um, forum. Yeah, uh, all the issues. I why I love forum because uh, ready lesson plans which are already conducted and they are just uh, they are interesting for students and uh, they have already uh, just used by experienced teachers and you can easily take some article about some lesson plan or about some topic and read and enjoy it. Um, Rello send us many just times this kind of just forums to our university and there is a just online page also for this university okay just mm. another one thing I would like to show today it's a symbol mm -hmm. okay symbol it's just collect of all these web pages. The symbol is uh, just, for example, this is the uh, education web, uh, web pages. This is uh, just resources education. This is the popular education sites. These are the online learning aids. Just you need to search, for example, Quizlet or Padlet or Kahoot, and you can take from this page. Even you can add your own just some web pages here. It's uh, just simple, it's just ready wall for you to just collect and gather all this, your materials. Like this online wall, uh, I would recommend you collect your materials on Miro board. It's, it looks like a Padlet, but it's a bigger, it's uh, just a huge place. You can just uh, add you all your materials. Uh, you can just, uh, show it to your students. Your students also add your materials. It's a uh, it's the best thing for working with, as a team. It's the best board for working as a just um, uh, just uh, cooperatively working inside the group for group work. They, everybody just uh, could add something to this board. It's very big board. It's very big board. You may add everything. There are some tools you can uh, just write down. You can take a stick and you can click it. And it's a just a helpful website. The mirror I told, uh, most of these materials I have learned from the Future Learn English uh, online course and Udemy online course. They are very useful online courses where you can get a certificate and at the same time learn something. Certificate is not just everything, but you will learn a lot of things from this website. Let's come back to my just Padlet again. And I think I talked it all about, okay, listening to pronunciation checker. Um, Nodiresa Mohamedova has uh, just had the uh, just video about it. Youglish, I think you know it well. You can check the your pronunciation here and uh, to in different ways. You need just write down the words and you can check it. Yeah. And uh, about speaking tools, pictures I told, mind mapping and story cards. I showed most of them. Uh -huh, sorry. Yeah. Uh -huh. This is uh, just Googleish, okay? Then reading, writing, all of them I just mentioned, okay? Um, about Project Gutenberg, then learning English one use. Yeah, I showed, I think. Uh, 
And if you just see uh, and uh, just look through all these materials, you can just click it and you can just open and work and create your own materials. Not that apply, uh, just could we, ah, rewardify this one. This is for just um, making your text easier, simplifying the text. And there is a, uh, just, you will add some text, difficult text, and you will click the rewardify the text and they will create or make your text easier than just, uh, if you add there some uh, C1 text, they will make them to be two level text or like that. And one more thing about Grammarly, I don't know you use it or not, but I will just uh, advise you, please just try to, as an English teacher, try to write correctly and you can just uh, edit uh, Grammarly to your web page, to the browser, and you can easily correct your just grammar while you are writing it. Okay. Uh, Sabahat, do you have any question? No, no, it's understandable. Uh-huh, okay. Then that's all I think, just most of them I told, uh, just I described uh, Project Gutenberg, American English, uh, then Queen's Tribune and Rewardify. Uh, writing just tools, most of them taken from the Nodere Samohamed, but uh, Padlet and other just a web page is taken from the American English website, learning English website, free rice or uh, creating tab that works people. Uh, just everything is given there and Grammarly also. Mm, I think that's all just, uh, there are online just uh, walls like a mirror Padlet, then uh, just so on and online classes also you may find Edmodo, Udemy. Uh, Udemy you may find the uh, very interesting courses, free courses for learning and uh, just different things. Okay, uh, if you have any questions, you are welcome. Now I'm ready to answer them. If you have questions about some tool, I can open and I can describe it. I can uh, answer to your questions. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. No, there are I have already, I think, finished. And uh, just, Great. If thank you any... so much. You've been so. <laughs> yeah, hurry, quickly. Like, I tried in a to... rush. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, for like, we, I think, didn't have time to kind of read. Um, <laughs> yeah, well, yeah? I think, yeah, it might be overwhelming for many people. I would, therefore, yeah, there is a web. Uh, the um, Padlet, the link to the Padlet that Nozima has kindly shared. You can take time and explore these um, yourself. But for now, let's focus. Like, could you please write one of the resources that you would really want to check it out? That you want to use it? You know, this way that will help you to kind of focus your attention as well, right? Start with at least one, right? So. Could you please in the chat box write one resource that she showed that you would like to explore further and you would like to try out? Grammarly, Farhat. Yes, Grammarly. That's actually everybody should install that. This is another mm -hmm. extension, just like Adblocker. That's another Google extension. Um, or any browser, um, you can, yes. Um, and then it will check all your writing. Whenever you're writing, it mm -hmm. will, yeah, it's a great tool. Yeah, yeah. I, I, yeah, I, yeah, I strongly suggest <laughs> to yes, just, uh, right. I add have to that your too. browser. Yes, I have that too. And mm -hmm. I always recommend even my students, you know. Um, yeah, although like, you know, some mm -hmm. teachers yeah. say, no, we have to see their kind of real, English as kind of right, but now it's good for them too. But this is because the real life. Mm -hmm. Okay, new yeah. and levels. Can, yes. yes, walk up, walk mm -hmm. up ahead. Mm -hmm. Yes, rewardify, yeah. Miro, Quizlet. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, this is the Grammarly page. You you can just write down to the just uh, and you can. Uh, upload it to your uh, just browser and easily use it. There is a, some um, 
uh, basic forms free, but most of them you need to pay some amount of money. But it's easy. You can just write something and they will check your grammar easily. Right. Every teacher, I think, you have it. Yeah. You can uh, write down some text or you can just add some text and they will check. You can just pass mm -hmm. the text. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right. Or once you enable, then whenever you write, even in a Word document, mm -hmm. it will check it. So, or yeah, in yeah, yeah. forums, whatever, any... yeah. it will check it uh -huh. automatically. Mm -hmm. oh, I can do a lot of things online, for example, yeah. I'll just write down, there are so many mistakes. They will show the mistake, then I can, uh, they can correct it. Just you need to click in line or a lot or, they will check it in or on, but not always they are right. Sometimes you need to check yourself because it's computer, yeah? Uh, for example, not a lot, it's a lot, yeah? You need to separate it, yeah? Not, not saying mm, it's a space, yeah? Because there is a lot, yeah? Not on, maybe it's online. <laughs> Uh -huh. yeah. Like this, they will uh, just correct your mistake. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Great. Um, so um, we have um, so saying Nilufar is asking which faculty and department do you work. Uh -huh. I work at the national. University of Uzbekistan, named after Nizalukvet, English Philology Department. Mm -hmm. My full name is Jabarva Naizma Kamalidinamna. You may just uh, find me on Mentor Hub group. Just I always try to read and try to answer to some questions. Yeah, mm -hmm. and it, it's my favorite bot. Great. So, yeah, Mabluda is asking Is it difficult to create that word where everybody can add something? Is it about Padlet, Mavluda? Can you clarify, I guess? Or Miro, which are better? Yes. yes this is a Miro. <clears throat> it looks like a Padlet, but it's easier to add here materials. And it's a bigger, and you may just open and find the, There are a lot of Padlets we created with my students. And you can do it like this. You can just... Uh, you can add everything to the whole year, your plan, and you can work with your group, with teachers together. It's, it's a good framework for team working. Uh, you can work uh, cooperatively with your students, with your colleagues, and you can easily uh, just, all of them easily can add the, something to this board if you accept them as a just member of this uh, mirror board. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So Any you have to accept them, you have to, uh, they have to sign <clears throat> up? Yeah, uh, with okay. Google account or with, uh, with oh, okay. Facebook, they can just okay. uh, join and yeah. as okay. a group, they can work. Okay, yeah. whereas like for Padlet, um, anybody with the link can join, you don't, they don't need to mm -hmm. register, right? So that's but it. there is also sharing, yes. Uh, you can do it as a public and everybody okay. can join and add something. Mm -hmm. And there are some members you can find here, yeah, bring everyone, or you can just find a lot of things here. Yeah. Uh, it's mm -hmm. a just huge board, very okay. huge board for working together. As a okay, team. great. Mm -hmm. Thank you. So, um, there was one more mm -hmm. question. Yeah, there were lots of thanks. That was very practical and interesting. Mm -hmm. um, and then Kamola is asking, do you know a web page mm -hmm. that helps to You're make welcome. our writings more complex? Uh, I can just suggest uh, Nodera Pass web page, but there is also yeah. something uh, on my page also, but most of them taken your, from your writing. Yeah, I didn't tell about writing, but there is a just uh, some just ready Shelley's uh, just web page, for example, or uh, writing, writing, pre writing, inspired writing. I can just tell about it. Then the Arabic just answers newspaper generator. 
post by uh, blogs or writing stories. No, 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 not this one. Uh, for teaching, I will recommend this one, use pictures. Uh, it's also not mine, it's uh, not there, but uh, comics writing, yeah. Um, let's I'll just show this one. I found some pages where you can just show the ready videos, how to put the comma, how to use the, just um, the this or how to use the nouns inside the sentence like this. But there are just, a lot of website for writing. Maybe it would be another one, uh, just webinar, just which will be about writing tools. Uh, now just, uh, I need to open all of them and I, I should compare and I should just retell about them. But I know these pages which are helpful for teaching uh, and for learning also. Mm, what else? Just writing with digital tools. Um, I usually work on Google Doc and uh, we can check with the help of the Google Doc. There is also some teaching, writing, digital tool presentation. And you may find a lot of just web pages which helps you to improve your writing tools, your writing skill, I mean. Mm -hmm. Okay, no I have just that's all I think. Mm -hmm. Okay, great, thank you. I posted the um, link to the uh, webinar that I did um, on uh, writing, so you can check others as well. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. yeah, that I mentioned, so you can if you need any kind of more um, ideas, mm -hmm. further ideas. As for mm -hmm. the certificates, yeah, um, yeah. Nazima, go ahead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Most of these pages you already just the pages here, uh, just about no, writing. No, there were lots too. of no, they yeah. were yeah, no, there mm -hmm. yeah, lots of interesting mm -hmm. ones that you shared. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. I myself mm -hmm. learned some new ones that I've never heard before. Um, yeah, as mm -hmm. for the. Yeah, the couple of people asked about certificates. Yes, if you want, we can issue certificates. Um, the details are the same. I'll um, share here. Um, what are the advantages of getting certificate of participation? I think we answer that every time. Um, so that <laughs> you, uh, you ask. The, you ask. I'm not saying that you have to take that, right? So every time, like mm -hmm. people ask me, and then they ask me why why they need it. Um, mm -hmm. Well, um, that shows the proof of, that you took part in a professional development event, right? That you took part in mm -hmm. the webinar. Um, it's kind of good for your own portfolio, right? So that you are continuously mm -hmm. involved in the professional development activities. Um, but mm -hmm. as for- and Jamila know, also said, I'm really sorry. Yes, Jamila said right. about the corner of teachers. Right. Yeah. You exactly. can add your certificates on the corner and you can tell uh, to your students they are you are confident yes. and you have been many webinars, you have just right. uh, developing yes. your knowledge they, every yes. day. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for self-confidence, right? For feeling good about yourself, right? That's also important mm -hmm. for us. <laughs> yes. Um, yes, and mm -hmm. for others, see that your achievements, right? Yes, and then when you are maybe applying for some other job, right? Or for your current job, right? So the other scholarships, right? So if you kind of show that you are kind of... Um, mover and shaker, right? So that you are taking active, partic you actively participate in different events. Um, I, I think it will be always an advantage. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Yes, you are right. Yeah, you are right. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. Okay. Yes, I uh, really enjoyed. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think no. Um, yeah, I really enjoyed that. As I said, I learned some new uh, resources and I will check mm -hmm. them out for sure. Yeah, and I think most of us will have to rewatch this video again so that you know see the specific resources. Yeah, I did it very uh, quickly. I yes, think. Um, that's okay. Yes, that's good too. And so 
but anyway, it's good to go back and then um, check again mm. and explore this for yourself yeah. too, right? Yes, mm. and then like yeah. don't feel too overwhelmed. Choose one or two, right? And start with one mm-hmm. or two, try it out for yourself and with your mm-hmm. students and then kind of move to another one. Otherwise, you just get overwhelmed and yeah. then... <laughs> You don't do anything, right? So you just forget about all of that. Right? Yeah. <laughs> you know, this sounds great, this sounds great, and then you don't do that, right? Uh-huh. So the uh-huh. main thing is just try one and then use it, right? And then mm-hmm. see how it's how it works. Yeah, uh-huh. yeah. Mm-hmm. Thank you so but much. Thank yeah. you. Your students yeah, thank are you so also lucky because... to have you. <laughs> yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. Uh huh. Yeah. All of them just uh, I took from I inspired from your tablet. Firstly, when you just showed the Padlet and uh, just Quizlet. I, oh, I should start collecting all my things on this Padlet. And thank you for inspiring us. Thank you for the group mentor hub. Oh, and I always you. just read it. And I always try to just watch and participate on Zooms, on webinars. Thank you all so very much. Yeah. Thank you so much. Thank you for all mm-hmm. the feedback. Yes, the pleasure is all mine. And yeah, um, this group exists because of you, because each of your contributions. Thank you so much. Okay. Um, have a nice weekend then, everybody. Thank you. Bye. Mm-hmm.